What's up guys, it's Isaac here, I'm in my backyard today and today I'm going to talk about my Dobbins Fury Rods and uh, for those of you who have been following the channel for any time at all, you guys know that I really really like these rods. Um, I definitely think they're as good or better than any other rod for that $100 to $120 uh, price point. Um, they're extremely sensitive, extremely lightweight and uh, they're, just, they're just awesome. I fish with a lot of $100 rods and these ones just seem to be on another level. Um, they're best sellers on Tackle Warehouse. Uh, a lot of people agree with me on them. So definitely, if you're interested in these rods, go for it. Um, they'll be worth every penny. Um, as far as these rods go behind me, um, these are the three models that I have from the lineup. So I want to take you through each of those and talk a little bit about what applications I find them to be good for. And I'm also going to use those kind of as a reference point to talk about some of the other models that I know the lineup has to offer. So first up, I'm going to talk about the Dodson Series 703C. This model is a seven foot medium heavy action. Um, that's kind of the textbook example of a good all around rod for a lot of applications. Um, it's rated for 10 to 17 pound line, quarter ounce to three quarter ounce lures. And it's a, like I said, it's a medium heavy fast action. So um, the model number again is 703C. That means it's a seven foot three power. And for a lot of you guys, you might think of, the, of a three power um, as kind of on the light side, given that it's on the 10 scale. Um, and I want to talk about that a little bit. So for me, I'm a college student. Uh, that means I'm fishing in the summer a lot. And so sometimes when I'm out there in my limited time, I just want to catch a bunch of fish. So this rod enables me to catch a bunch of fish using something really small like a Senko. So I can, I can throw a Senko on this. I can throw uh, lipless crankbaits, square bills, a swim jig like I've got tied up right now. Um, the versatility is incredible, really. And the model that a lot of guys um, kind of say is the best all-around rod from this lineup is the 704. Now that's an action heavier. Um, if you're a jig fisherman big time and you fish with a lot of, your all-around fishing is kind of with a little bit of heavier stuff and you're around bigger fish, definitely step up to that 704. But for me, I feel like I have the advantage of being able to fish with a little bit lighter lures and not only that, but you get a little bit more bend in the rod tip. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that extra bend that you get in the rod tip lets you fish treble hook baits a little bit more confidently. Um, people always talk about that parabolic motion that comes with crankbait rods, which I'm personally not a big believer in, um, but I definitely feel like having a little bit of extra bend doesn't hurt anyone. Um, you're definitely not sacrificing any sensitivity in that realm. Um, th this is the most sensitive rod I've ever fished with hands down. Um, and along with that, it's the lightest. Um, all around, super, super great rod. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say about it. Oh yeah, so I was talking about crankbaits a little bit. Um, they also make a crankbait specific rod in this lineup and it's called the 705 CB, I believe, CB for crankbait. I can't speak on that rod. Um, I've shied away from it just because in my experience when I do get a crankbait rod, a lot of times it's less sensitive than um, a rod such as this. And uh, so I've kind of shied away from it, but I have seen some good reviews and uh, it's possible that they didn't sacrifice any sensitivity when they made it and it does have that bend to it. So definitely check that route out if you're interested. But as far as I'm concerned, this definitely has enough bend to keep those treble hooks pinned in the fish. And uh, it's also got a lot of backbone. I can fish like a 3 8 ounce jig on this all day and feel like I, I can put the hammer down on a fish when I need to. It's not going to give all that beef that you'd have in a you know, a flipping stick or something like that, but it's definitely enough to hold your ground. So this is kind of the flagship of all around use. Awesome rod. All right, so next up we have the 734. So from the last model being the 703, um, we stepped up both three inches in length and one power in uh, the action. So this is a seven foot three power rod. It's rated for 10 to 20 pound line, quarter ounce to one ounce lure and it's considered to be a heavy fast action. So this is a four power and Dobbins calls it a heavy action. Um, I would call it somewhere kind of between the medium heavy, in my mind, I would consider it to be between a medium heavy and a heavy. It's kind of in between there. So you can definitely use it to flip around a jig like this. You can definitely use it um, for, you know, Texas rigs and stuff like that. I think it excels tremendously in the area of like, those big 10 to 12 inch worms that you're fishing with in the summertime when when you're fishing a little bit deeper and stuff like that. This, this is an awesome rod for that. Um, it, it is a little bit heavier than the 703 in weight just because there's more material that goes into the rod. 
but it's still extremely well balanced, has a lot of sensitivity, great all around rod. And what a lot of people overlook with this rod, in my mind, is no, it doesn't have the bend that the 703 has, but you can still get away with fishing moving baits. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend treble hook baits, but you can get away with it. I mean, honestly, I think sometimes people overthink things. Um, but this this action right there is perfect for, you know, a small swim bait, um, you know, uh, spinner bait, chatter bait, something like that. This thing has some serious backbone, but it's also light enough to feel everything. And you can get away with making, you know, with this thing, you can make super long casts because you got that extra length. Um, still versatile enough to fish a lot of options uh definitely not as versatile as the 703 but if you're the kind of guy that likes a little bit of a longer rod and you're around bigger fish this is an awesome option and next up we've got the 765 flip so um we're up to a seven foot six five power rod so we stepped up another three inches and another power from that 734. Um, this is rated for quarter ounce to two ounce lures and it's a medium heavy flip fast action so it sounds kind of weird that it's a medium heavy after we also call the 703 medium heavy, but I think it's referring to a medium heavy in terms of flipping sticks. So it's definitely a serious hammer, uh, hammer over rod. This thing is great for, um, you know, football head jigs that you're dragging across the bottom. It's great for those really heavy tungsten uh, Texas rigs, or I, I guess, I don't know what you'd really call it, but you know, those flipping baits that you're trying to pound through those lily pads with. Um, it's also heavy enough if you want to throw a light Alabama rig on it, or you want to get away with throwing some of those smaller swim baits that aren't really, you know, those ginormous swim baits you see people throwing around. You can get away with some of that. Overall, I don't necessarily recommend this rod as much as the other two. And the only reason I say that is because a lot of guys look for a frogging and flipping rod kind of combined into one. And the model that I would like to point out if you're going that direction is the 735. So Dobbins makes a 735 model in the Fury lineup, and that one is very similar to this in action, but it's three inches shorter. And that allows you to have a little bit less weight. You might have a better, um, better time frogging on it when you're making those twitches across the water. And uh, it also allows you, if you're a bank fisherman, to kind of you know, maneuver around the pond or whatever a little bit better. So um, the 735 is definitely one that stands out in my mind. As far as the spinning gear goes from this lineup, guys, I can't really speak on that. I haven't tried any of their flipping, or sorry, I haven't tried any of their spinning gear. Um, but overall, guys, this line, this line of rods is just amazing. Um, they really have it all. They also have some rods that are uh, lighter than the 703 if you're looking at a jerkbait rod or something like that. But I will say even the 703, I've thrown jerkbaits and... I mean, I've thrown everything on this. Senkos, jerk baits, rattle traps, crank, you know, square bill crank baits, deep diving crank baits, everything. Wouldn't recommend the deep diving crank bait, but it can happen if you're poor. So, all right, guys, that's my review on these rods. Hope that helped you give, hope that helped you get a little bit better of an idea of what rod you might want to select. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, feel free to drop a like and subscribe for more future videos. See you guys.